What's up? It's been a while. Like over a decade, honestly, since the last time I have done a review like this. Uh, so apologies if I'm rusty, but I wanted to make a review today of a board that I've been riding for uh, most of this year. I got it over the winter time um, and it's been awesome. Uh, so the board is a Land Yachts Blaze. This is a Clayton Arthur's Pro Model Downhill and Free Ride Shape. If my memory serves correct, it's a 34 inch long board, uh, nine inches wide, con <laughs> wheelbase, excuse me, uh, ranges, like low 20s, low to mid 20s. I'm sorry, I'm really not a numbers guy. Uh, while it is a relatively simple shape, it has very well thought out features that I find to be very confidence inspiring. First and foremost, I wanna discuss the asymmetrical micro drops. Essentially what that boils down to is the front and the back sag down a little bit, but they don't have the same shape in the front and the back. In the back, it's a very linear drop that just goes straight across. That drops down and creates a pocket for your back foot where it's going to want to hang perpendicular. This is very, very nice for uh, feeling locked in as well as your foot just kind of having a natural resting place. I myself put my truck all the way back in terms of the wheelbase options because I find, especially with these uh, cast roads, I think they're 150 millimeters i'm not certain uh again not a numbers guy but i find that it puts my back foot just in front of my back truck rather than directly over it if you are the type of person that you like that directly over feeling there are plenty of other wheelbase options to compensate uh, so you can get the feel out of your micro drops that you enjoy this is just my personal preference um, so the drop in the back as well as the drop in the front. The drop in the front is a different shape. It doesn't have the direct line as the tail does. The front has a pocket. Uh, so it's called a radial drop. Essentially, there's a little bubble in the middle. Myself, I have kind of big arches on my feet, so it feels very natural to have that space be occupied by this bubble. Also, it's gonna want your front foot in a pointed angle closer to that 45 degree uh, rather than the 90 degree that you want in the tail. With the foot stop, my front foot is directly over my truck. That leads to a lot of control, leads to a lot of confidence in relation to how my back truck is set up. I feel it's kind of helped my form. So this board wants you to be good. It wants you to ride better, at least in my experience. I had a kind of <clears throat> bad mentality for a long time of uh, thinking my board would fix all my problems and trying chronically like a bunch of different setups. And this was the first time I had stepped onto a board and it felt like I had actually like scratched that itch. Um, immediately it was uh, something that like built my confidence. It made me want to try things that I could do just at <clears throat> higher speeds. I find the ability to customize it. So whether or not you're riding like a free ride ish shape or you want to do a completely overt downhill shape you can make that happen even uh, the inclusion of the flush mounts flush mounts uh, aren't everyone's jam but you can you know you can always add something but you can't take something away so the flush mounts just offer another level of customization whether you want to do angled risers no risers whatever you like tons of opportunity there if you run it like I am with no risers, uh, the flush mounts definitely add to that kind of like slidiness. Um, so for me, that definitely makes it a great blend. Again, to uh, I can go fast, I can go slow, I can skate one run many different ways <coughs> on this setup. In that same way, riding a free ride truck, this is around like 150, 160. With free ride wheels, my uh, you know my wheels will poke out a little bit. <clears throat> Whether or not I'm riding like a more round lip shape or these square lips, uh, I like being able to see my wheels. 
if I were to throw on trucks with like a psalm geometry, uh, so like rogue psalms are uh, what I've thrown on, they've been great with a, like a wider wheel, you still have that uh, same amount of rail match. So that's definitely another, you know, area that builds confidence. So this board does feature a lot of customization options, while it is a small package. Um, a lot of boards have kind of had to pick a lane, and I think Landyots and Clayton did a great job at making a board that can be successful at a blend of downhill and free ride. It's definitely not a cruiser, despite its small size. It has uh, features that point it downhill and makes it want to go fast, very rigid. Uh, the construction being maple and fiberglass, you have some torsional rigidity uh, as well as stiffness just across the board. I don't really know what else to say, um, but in the interest of you know making it a, uh, a good review, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to give the deck to some other people to, to try out and either confirm or deny my opinions. So, let's do Oh, you what is are... it called? The Blaze? The Blaze. The Blaze. Test driving a Blaze today. Land Yachts Blaze that Tristan put some amazing art on. Um, Going to give it a rip on one of our local roads. And uh, tell you what I think. So far, it's I like the shape. And uh, it feels really well made. And it looks like the right kind of size for my type of skating. You! <laughs> good time on the blaze today borrowed this from Tristan um, I really like it a lot I like the, the size of it the shape is great um, it's quick I've got it on the longest wheelbase and I got some pretty fat trucks on it but um, it was dissolving the jellies nicely I had a really good time thank you man <laughs>